Hey, hello, thanks for choosing to watch this video in my YouTube channel. Today I will show you that paper rank thermal printer that I got from AliExpress. So we will start with unboxing and then real life test. Let's make a start. Okay, so starting with the box, that's the box right here. And uh, I will show you also the thermal paper. I got three rows together with the paper rank P1 printer right here. That's how the paper looks like. Let's take one out and uh, have a proper look. Now going to the tech specs of the paper rank P1 printer here on the back. You can have a proper look at them if you pause the video. Paper size it says 57 by 30 millimeters which is weird because the width can be 57 millimeters but the length of that paper definitely isn't 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters anyways that's what it says on the box the most interesting part of every unboxing is what's inside the box itself so let's take it out and uh, see what's inside indeed you get the paper and p1 printer right here that one is white but there is a wide variety of covers to choose among so you can order a different one anyways. Let's take it out, it's quite small. That's the micro USB port for charging. And a pretty simple device. That's the micro USB uh, cable for charging. Quite short one, maybe about 50, 60 centimeters, standard for Chinese micro USB cables. That's how it looks like. So the power button of the paper rank P1 is in the top left corner. I will use it in a second. What else do you get? That's the user menu. It's in Chinese to start with and then it moves to English. So there is also English user guide, quick start guide. What you get inside, as I've already shown you, the paper and P1 printer, uh, a row of uh, paper, micro USB cable and this user guide. The, the the mobile app you should use with the device is called paper rank so i forgot to to tell you that that's the reset button here below the charging port if you need to reset the connection so the mobile app is called paper rank it's available both for app on app store and on google play for android devices also you can download and install it on your pc so let's give it a go to see how it's getting connected uh, and I will try on my iPhone now. Going to the App Store, that's the app Paper Rank with this icon currently getting the app and the team is being downloaded, let's check the size of the app. 78.2 megabytes, quite decent because these mobile apps are growing in size recently. Uh, so that's that's decent. It wouldn't take a lot of your memory Opening the app. I allow it to use Bluetooth and I decline to get notification because this may be annoying Cool, so to connect the printer I first need to switch it on You you need to press and hold Okay, yeah, that's what happens if you don't read the user manual So it's powered on now if I want to connect the printer I can do it via the plus sign or I can also scan QR code I want to try the latter so let's see how scanning the QR code works I first need to put some paper in of course so I can print out uh, the code on it so let's let's unpack uh, one thermal paper row and uh, see how to put it into the device it's should be open from the other side yeah from here okay oh there is already some paper inside so that's cool the three ones i got are extra all set to print out the qr code to do so i need to double press the power button so let's let's give it a go okay qr code started getting out with some more details so i tear it from the printer here we go, let's open the app again and scan this QR code to see what will happen. 
After I started the scanner, it immediately recognized the QR code and started activating and connecting to the device. Let's give it a couple of seconds to, he to see how the process works. Okay, here we go, we are connected. So let's first start with printing a photo. I want to print out a photo, taking a photo of the device itself. And that's it, I use this photo and uh, looks cool. I want to print out one copy of it. Seeing details here, I can't really change the length of the printout, but I can see it's 9.2 centimeters. Let's put it closer, I tap OK and let's see how it will go out. Nice, smooth, quite decent speed, printout speed. I cut it and uh, let's have a proper look at the quality of, of the printout. Nice black and white picture, black and white printout. You see there are some spots on this on this device, works on the photo and if you see here it's kind of glossy plastic. So that's because of the resolution dots per inch and uh, it's not high enough but uh, yeah for black and white printout it's it's quite decent. I like how it how it works. Another thing, I downloaded this image with uh, find the word puzzle, so different letters uh, of fruits and vegetables. Let's print it out and see how it will work like in terms of quality. Okay, going out quite decent as well. Let's cut it. And this can be handy to print out some Sudoku or some crossword, some find the word puzzle, covering images for your kids and so on. So closer look here, you see the resolution, you see the dots per index DPI, everything can be read quite neatly, that's in Bulgarian, so okay cool, so that was the video, I will try to take out this plastic film from here, but uh, thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful, insightful, I hope you liked the product because it's really handy, really portable, you just charge it and take it with you so you can print any type of content you would like. So if you like the video, like it in, in return, subscribe to my channel to stay aware of the next cool stuff I will, I will upload and of course as always if you have any questions I'm waiting for them in the comment section. So shoot your questions, thanks for watching again and uh, yeah, going to try this cool device with some other printouts. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time, bye bye.